Hallelujah. God bless you. You're welcome to this prophetic session of Shui Fong. You're welcome to my YouTube channel, Prophetic Moments with Blessing. May the Lord bless you bountifully in the name of Jesus. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Consider becoming a part of this family. You will be blessed bountifully in the name of Jesus. Amen. He is a master manipulator. This is a specific word of prophecy. You are settling with a master manipulator. You are set, you know, when God, the devil is so strategic, so intelligent that he will never come to you with, with um, an opposite. I'm looking for the right word. The devil is so wise that he doesn't come to a man with something different, you know? When the devil wants to attack you, he makes sure that he, he he comes with the counterfeit, not the fake. Okay, no, yes, he comes with the fake. He comes with the fake because he wants to come with something you will not suspect. He wants to present to you something that looks alike. You see, God will give you a prophetic word about your spouse, about somebody, and God will give you the vivid description. The devil, the devil also makes sure that by the time he's bringing the counterfeit to you, the counterfeit must look like the original that was promised. Because if it is not a, a, something that is, if it's not a look alike, you are going to be able to pinpoint and say, this is not it. So he makes sure he comes with a look alike that will confuse you, you know. But there is something the Bible says. He says, by their fruits, you will know them. You see, that's the only way you can differentiate between a counterfeit and the original thing, their fruits. Many of us have given excuses for the enemy. Many of us have given excuses. Sometimes we tell God, oh God, why would you let me fall into this? Why would you let me get into a relationship with this person in the first place? Why did you not want me? But God has warned you. In the word of God, it is clearly written. Just by their fruits, you shall know them. It is clear. You see, a counterfeit will forever be a counterfeit. By their fruits, you will know them. There is one thing they cannot pretend on. Is their fruits, their actions, their fruits, the 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 how do I their reaction by their fruits you will know them. Oh, the Bible says the fruits of the spirit are love, joy, peace, long suffering, uh, forbearance, and the fruits of the flesh are it says malice, hatred, backbiting, jealousy. By their fruits you will know them. When you see the counterfeit. By what they produce, by what comes out of them, by their reaction, by their attitude, by their language. There is a language that a child of God would never speak. You have given so many excuses for them. Oh, he was just angry. Oh, she was just mad. Oh, that's the excuse you get for the counterfeit. And that was the moment God opened your eyes to see that that's not the one he spoke of. But you failed to realize it. You see, that's how you would know the original from the counterfeit, their fruits. It says, by their fruits, you shall know them. Don't give excuses for them. Check how they react. Check how they speak. Check the language they speak. Check the things that they say. By their fruits, you shall know them. That's the only test. The only test for, 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 for. That's the only test. By their fruits, you shall know them. You cannot go to a mango tree or you cannot harvest orange from a tree and you call the tree a mango tree. No. The fruits should tell you what kind of a tree it is. If they were to cover all trees and just keep their fruits hanging, you will know that that is an orange tree. You can never call it a mango tree because it produces an orange fruit. Stop giving excuses for people. By their fruits, you shall know them. That's the test. That's how you know who is from God. And who is not. Pray that that word will give you direction. That will bring you clarity. Stop giving excuses for them. God is speaking to you. But you are ignoring it. You are giving excuses for them. Stop. It's time for you to stop. God bless you. Shalom.